Hello everyone, my name is Lawford and I'm going to bring you an in-depth trading tutorial guide, whatever you want to call it. First thing I want to talk about is where I get my prices and where you should get your prices from. This is of course personal preference, but I will show you a few sites that, you know, are very good. Uh, and you're going to have to expect to do your own research, but in some cases you won't have to. Uh, anyways, let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is the Rocket League Steam Forum prices okay a lot of beginners to rocket league training usually go on these steam forum pages and they look through the pages and they'll be like oh champions crate one equals two for one key well that is completely fucking false a lot of these are scams uh wanting people to buy for a higher price a lot of these are outdated like in this one um and some of these i don't know they're, they're fucking weird anyways do not trust the ones you find randomly on Google, you know, prices on the Steam forums. Really the best way of finding the prices for the item you're trying to sell or buy is really doing your own research. But you can do it on the uh, Rocket League trading forum or Steam discussions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can just look through all these posts and determine what price you want to sell and buy for. So let's say buy a mask, so striker want good offers, you know, let's say he wanted 16 keys. But yes, just searching through the forum and then noting down all the prices and stuff for each individual item, then that's a great way. Also, the Reddit is a great way of looking for trades and figuring out prices. You know, you can look through these and see what people want to buy for and sell for and everything. So that's really great. Next one is the RocketLeagueTrading.com site. This is what I use personally. Just look through all these trades and, and see what people buy and sell for. Uh, this site has a lot of different options. You can select search type, I have or want this item, and select platform as well. So that's really nice. Next one is Rocket League Trade Finder. This site is, I don't really use it that much, but it's really, really handy in some situations where you're trying to look for really expensive items or whatever. Basically, this site takes all the trading sites Rocket League has, like Reddit, RocketLeague.com, Rocket League Tracker, Steam Community, and Discord, and puts it all together. So that's really, really handy. Next one is Discord. You know, there's a lot of Rocket League trading discords out there. And this one that I use, uh, I'm a part of, is Trade Central. It has its own price check channel, so you can check prices, ask other people, trusted traders to, you know, kind of figure out the price for you and whatever. So uh, that's really handy. Also, next one, this is kind of a private thing uh, that the Trade Central Discord has. It's a spreadsheet that gets updated every day by like trusted traders and really high end people, whatever. Uh, it is very, very handy because you can see all the wheels and all the colors and it's all sorted out in a nice colory thing. On the right, you can see alpha, black market bodies, whatever you want, really. And you can see the demand and what people are asking for. So basically 26 to 28 keys, 29 to 31 for hexed and heat wave. That's, that's very nice. And you can also see that demand. I want to talk a little bit about demand because of course you don't want to buy a thing or try and sell a thing that has low demand, you know, a breakout type S on the bottom here. It sells for one to two keys, so you're probably not going to get two keys for it if if you're being honest there. So uh, you know, you might be able to pick it up for one key easily, but it's going to be very hard to sell it for two keys. Not a lot of people want the item. Now Heatwave and Hex on the other hand, a lot of people want that item, so it's going to be easy to sell and maybe a little bit harder to pick up for a lower price. Now, when it comes to uh, talking about, you know, buying and selling an item, the thing you want to remember is buying an item for average price and selling it for high price, that's not something you really want to do. What you really want to do when it comes to, you know, making profit in the Rocket League community is buying low and selling average price. You want to buy an item for as low as you can and then sell it for average price. That's really the ideal way of making profit. Now, when it comes to finding the people you want to trade with and buy with, it's it really depends on whatever you prefer to use. I usually use this site just because it's so easy to like look at and, and find the trades you want. You can just, uh, you know, select search type, I want or have this item and then select any type of item and then boom, you have it, apply filter and it will look for the trades, you know. There you go. So this is a site I use, but you can use whatever you want. You can use a Steam community. I use a lot of different ones just to find the right trades and stuff. So I would really recommend using all of them, but specifically this site just because it's easy to handle and use.
But in the end, it's really your own personal preference that matters the most. So, you know, if you want to use Discord only, Steam community only, that, that's completely up to you. It really depends how desperate you are. I use a lot of these sites just to speed up the process. So, you know, but the conclusion is do your own research to find the right prices. Use a lot of different sites so you can find the right trades for you. And do your own research when it comes to supply and demand. You need to be able to know what you're going to buy and sell before you actually start buying it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a basic tutorial or guide, whatever you want to call it, to Rocket League trading. I might do another video on this to uh, explain a little bit more in depth of supply and demand and how you want to go and confront your traders. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and good luck trading. Goodbye.